So we're gonna now ask about Linda's first chakra, second chakra. Ooh, second chakra, Linda's third chakra, fourth chakra. Now fifth chakra, fifth chakra has a lot to do with communication. Linda's sixth chakra, sixth chakra, seventh chakra. It's like she knows me. <laughs> Hi guys, this is Linda from Brain Education TV. Today I have invited a very special guest for a very exciting special experience that I'm so happy to share with you on this YouTube channel. Today we have Jen Hi. from Sedona Wellness Cafe in Sedona, Arizona. Jen is a brain education instructor, and she's also an intuitive reader based out of Sedona. So I wanted to bring her on to show you guys some more faces and people who are in our brain education community. So today I'm getting my chakras read by Jen. She has a very cool method that I have never tried yet. I've never done a chakra reading before. So I'm very excited. We're gonna see how this works and what my energy state is right now. And if you guys are interested in getting chakra readings, I know Jen obviously does these in person in Sedona. If you ever come by, come by the Sedona Wellness Cafe. And she also does them online. Yes. So that's what we're gonna experience today. Is yes. We're gonna do the online version of the chakra reading um, of checking up your chakras. Yes, yes. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> what if they're all blocked? <laughs> No such thing. <laughs> and you're a brain education master. That's so true. That's true. It's natural for us to have a little bit of, you know, just um, some imbalance. So with chakras, everything is about balance or um, how your energy is moving in the same direction. Mm -hmm. So chakra means wheel in Sanskrit. So we have seven major wheels in the body and it doesn't take much for one wheel to get thrown off so it's kind of like i give the example of you know when you're at the grocery store mm -hmm. and you get that shopping cart and it looks great mm -hmm. the one wheel oh. <laughs> right and so and it's like, like yeah like why <laughs> dang it so it's the same thing with your chakras okay you can have balance but then one throws it off and then it just kind of throws off the balance for the rest of them it doesn't mean anything is bad it just means that <laughs> they can be Rebalanced. Okay, sounds yes. great. I'm excited. So what, what do we do? So today, I, since I knew you were coming, I wrote down your name, Linda. <laughs> Is that how all the readings start? So in person, I would actually do more of an, a kinesiology or we ask your body. But in, in this is a simple, it's simple. Um, it's just all about energy. So you're giving out an energy, we're tuning into that energy, and then your body tells us or your energy tells us here virtually. So I thought it would be a little bit clearer to your viewers because they can't tell when I'm pulling right. apart your fingers, right. right? If you're doing an O-ring, what you're experiencing. So I thought I'd do something a little bit more visual. Sure, okay. So we're gonna start with your name and here is my pendulum. So I have just a pen pendulum that I like to work with that has all seven chakras. But if you have a pendulum at home, you can also try this. Can you tell our audience what is a pendulum? So a pendulum, it's kind of like something that um, it goes back a long time. I don't know the history of pendulums, but you can use it to ask questions um, for yourself mm -hmm. or you can use it to ask questions about other things, usually yes or no, or balance or imbalance. So it's kind of like um, divining, similar like divining rods, just kind of connecting to that energy. So energy is around us. We are energy. Everything is one. So now this is like tuning into yours and we get to see what's happening. Okay. Here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with Linda's name and we're going to ask the pendulum. Do I need to do anything? No, nope, you get okay. to just, just sit, just sit and okay. hang out. All right. I can okay. do that. So I'm going to rest my elbow here so you can see that I'm not, I'm not moving my arm. So I'm going to put my um, arm here like this and I'm just going to let the pendulum go. And we're going to ask for your natural um, rhythm or your natural shape. So you can see. Can you see? I don't know if you can yeah, see. Yeah, it's moving. It's moving. And what direction is it moving in? Clockwise for me. Yes, very yeah. clockwise. So your name, Linda, your energy is moving clockwise, which is what we want it to be. But some people, it's okay if it moves another way. It's just, this is your pattern. So so clockwise. not everyone is clockwise. Not everyone is clockwise. What are some other patterns we can see or you've um, seen? I've seen side to side. I've seen diagonal. I've seen opposite direction. 
But usually people who are balanced will have more of a clockwise. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so it doesn't necessarily mean it's bad, even if it's going a different direction. That's just yours. Mm -hmm. And it could be just an indication of your slight and down. Okay, that's very interesting. So for you, you have clockwise. Okay. So I have here seven chakra cards. And I don't know if you can see them, but they're all a different color and they have a different um, symbol on it. Yeah. And the colors that we use is a little bit different than the Sanskrit colors. This this chakra belt comes from Asia, Korea, mm -hmm. where the biggest difference is this one, heart chakra, which is gold. And yeah, typically the, it's green. Typically it's green, yeah. but we have golden hearts. Yeah, we say golden heart in green education. Yes. So that's what we're using today. Cool. So first chakra. So we're going to now ask about Linda's first chakra. The first chakra is root chakra as well, how we're grounded and connected. Oh, so great. can you see that? So if you can't see it clearly on the camera, the root chakra is matching Linda's initial um, shape. Oh wow, it's really big. Yeah, really big means that you are grounded. So when your root chakra is balanced, you feel more decisive and clear. And then you also yeah. don't get attached too much with judgment. That's me. I'm very decisive. I'm very like, I know what I want. Yes. I know what I don't want. Exactly. So that, that really helps you. And you're really good just from knowing you, you're really good about discernment versus judgment. Yeah. So you don't get too attached to like getting stuck on something and letting it bother you. This is so cool, guys! <laughs> Good for you. So now, second chakra. It's like she knows me. <laughs> Your pendulum does. <laughs> second chakra. Ooh, second chakra, very big again. Can you see that? Wow. So wow. second chakra, also very balanced. Big dungeon, very good. So you're very creative and you like to express yourself, oh, but yes. also solutions come to you quickly. Yes, so when you, <laughs> I'm a problem solver, yes. guys. So when this is imbalanced, usually you get stuck on the problem and you keep looking mm. at the problem, 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 problem. And then of course you track more problems. So you give birth to ideas very quickly. You're very creative in that. So good job. So, now, so far so good. <laughs> so now let's check your, Linda's third chakra. Third chakra. Linda's third chakra. Oh, it's not moving. So it doesn't mean that it's bad, nor does it mean that it's closed. It just means that, you know, you had a lot going on. So your body doesn't quite have the energy here. It's tiny. I can see yeah, it's, it's small. small. Very small. small. Yeah, if you guys look at yeah, it closely, small. it's very small. Not as big as the others. Mm -hmm. So that just means that needs a little bit more power here. So what does the third chakra stand for? Third chakra has a lot to do with um, emotions, what your body is holding, and also um, the energy you put out. So I know you just finished up a pretty big weekend. Yes. Um, a workshop yes, with some workshop. amazing people. So you used a lot of your energy. I you gave see. out a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. So now your third chakra is just a little bit on the lower side. That's so cool. You can see a clear like, difference. They're not all the same. So what we can do is I want to just have you do something really quick to help sure. bring it back yes. in place. Okay. Yes. So I know you talk about doing, you know, tapping in your lower dong yes. John. So I'm going to have you do third chakra tapping. Okay. All right. So right here. Yep. Solar plexus. And make sure you exhale. And while you're doing this, imagine in the space a beautiful orange colored ball shining and allow yourself to exhale out any stagnant energy through your mouth and allowing that beautiful orange light to expand and surround your organs releasing any of the emotional information that your organs are holding good and you're going to come just breathe it out and feel that sensation and it doesn't take too long the main thing is that you have really good focus now just slowly stop. Okay. And that then, was about like a minute only. That's great. Probably less. Okay. But you have good focus, so we can mm. we can do it pretty quickly. Okay, do you want me to breathe or anything? Do I just just first just notice how you feel? I feel tingling in my body. Mm -hmm. All over my body. Good. And I feel a lot calmer. Yes. 
Do you feel like you have a little bit more energy now? Mm-hmm. And is it radiating from your solar plexus? Mm-hmm. I feel warmth here, yes. like oozing out to my body. Good. So now let's check again. You okay. Go open your eyes. So once more, let's check Linda's third chakra. Third chakra. Third chakra right away is moving. Oh yeah, it's a little bigger. It's a little bit bigger. So had we have you do it a little bit longer, you would have seen um, it's gaining momentum, but you would see it swing equally as big as the other first two. Wow. But it's doing a lot better. Can you see That's that? That's so cool. So this is the power of the brain. As soon as you focused, you focused and you connected to your body and you exhaled out, whatever it was that you were holding there, mm-hmm. who knows, <laughs> right? Right. Then, then you were able to replenish that energy and once more activated the third chakra. So congratulations. That's really awesome. Wow, I could really feel the difference and then the difference shows in the reading too. Yes. So now let's check fourth chakra. So fourth chakra is really important for us to feel, yay, look at that, nice and big, fourth chakra. So your fourth chakra is balanced, which means that you come from a place of uh, heart-centered love. Yes, for yourself and for others. I love you guys. (laughs) So can you see this? Nice and wow, big. that's really big. Yes, yeah, so it's the same size as the first two. Mm-hmm. So when it's imbalanced, a lot of times people will feel hate. Mm-hmm. And you know, a lot of people, I don't hate anybody. Mm-hmm. But a lot of times people are like, well, I hate my thighs. Or I hate my, oh, does it make sense? Oh yeah, I don't hate outside things, right. but I hate things about myself. Exactly. And still hate. Yes, so it's still all around that. So when this is balanced, yeah, you're, you're in harmony with yourself oh, as good. well as others. Yes. Good job. Good job. Okay, now fifth chakra. Fifth chakra has a lot to do with communication. Communication. And it's also tied to your first chakra. So if your first chakra is weak, naturally your fifth chakra will be weak. And look at that. Of course it's big. You're a good communicator. Can you see that? Yeah. So with your fifth chakra, if it's imbalanced, a lot of times it will be like, you feel like you're saying the same things to the same people <laughs> and they don't get you. It's not them, it's you. <laughs> mm. So that's a, a that's one of the things. But fifth chakra, I want to talk a little bit about this. This is one of the hardest ones to open. Wow, why is that? Just because fifth chakra is a lot about communication. Um, I don't know if you've seen the movie Love Heals. Yes, of course. <laughs> you guys have seen Love Heals yes. too, right? I talked about it on my YouTube channel. So there's a scene where I'm doing the fifth chakra opening with oh, Dana. Right. Yeah, she's in there and we, ah! Yes. So most people, when they're given, they're, you know, asked to yell, most people cannot yell. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Most people have suppressed so much, so, you know, Stay quiet. Ever since you were a kid, right? right quiet. Right. You know, don't be, you know, don't right, be seen, right. not don't heard. Don't be rude. Right, right, right. Don't, you know, don't say anything. Right. Just don't say anything. Right. You know, you're upset. Don't say anything. Mm-hmm. Right. So then we continue to do that. So with the chakra, it starts to come out in other ways, such as not being able to really communicate clearly. Mm-hmm. Or a lot of times when you want to express your emotions, it gets stuck. Like it feels like a lump, uh-huh. you know, like you want, you have so much to say and then you're like, it gets stuck here. Yeah. Yeah. And then also just a lot of times stupid miscommunications. You know what I mean? A lot of times it's like we're actually saying the same thing. Right. But we're not saying it the same way. Right. So then people get upset. Yes. Because you <laughs> think you're saying two different things, but you're actually saying the same thing. Right. So this chakra is a really, really important one. And I want to do a video for your viewers later we're going to utilize your fifth chakra to help uh, balance the rest of them sounds that sound? great yay okay sixth chakra so let's check linda's sixth chakra sixth chakra and again starts to move nice and big which means that you are tuned in to your intuition mm. yes so i like you think i am yeah so here's something that's really important. Most people have really good intuition, mm-hmm. but they don't listen to it. Ah. Oh. Right? So a lot of times, even you who are watching at home, you like you get that feeling or download, right? Like I should do this. But then if these are not open, mm-hmm. you second guess yourself. Mm-hmm. 
because mm-hmm. you, you cannot trust. You're not right, grounded, you're grounded, right? Or you have too much emotions. I see. So you you don't miss opportunities, or you talk yourself out of things mm-hmm. where your spirit is just like, "This is what you've been asking for. Let me help you." And then you're like, "No." Uh-huh. <laughs> so yeah, how many times do we doubt ourselves? Yeah. You know, when we feel something or we receive some message. Right, and a lot of times it's because we're holding on to past information. Makes sense. Yeah. So good job on that. And now seven chakra. Last one. Seven chakra. Seven chakra. Then the second seventh chakra. Good. Already. Opening wide. Very good. So you're highly intelligent and you are um, you're receiving a lot of knowing. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? When I say knowing. So can you, yeah, can you explain that? So a lot of times when um, this is getting more into like that sixth sense, that inner mm-hmm. sense. Mm-hmm. So we say this is heaven's gate or to up here, right? Right, top of your head. Uh-huh. So you are in tune with your larger self who is giving you that guidance mm-hmm. and it's coming in. And because the rest of them are you you are do a good job about keeping balance, then you kind of get like suddenly you know stuff. Like you're looking at something and then suddenly you have this like you don't know where this information came from. Mm-hmm. Right? It's a little bit, it's tied in a little bit close to intuition, but it's a little bit different. I see. Does that make sense? Like yeah. suddenly you're like, you just know. <laughs> intuition feels like it's coming from inside, whereas knowing seems like some guidance is helping you from outside. Is yeah. That right? Very, yes. Yeah. That's a good way to describe it. So when you have the two combined, mm-hmm. it's fantastic that, that those two things are more developing that now sixth sense or more into that like psychic realm, which all of us are psychic, by the way, all of us have this ability. We've just not developed it or we haven't been given the tools to really be able to um, explore it and express it. Mm -hmm. So can we talk a little bit about what most people will have? Yes, and then I have a question before you do that. Okay. So so my natural direction was clockwise. Yes. And then let's say that you're going through the different chakras and then let's say that one of them, all of them went clockwise for me, but Mm -hmm. what if it started going counterclockwise or what if you were hovering over one of the chakras and it started going like side to side, which is not my natural rhythm? What does that mean? So it's more like an imbalance. Um, so it's never like, you know, good or bad energy. It's not about that. Intuitive, I mean, um, inherently, there's no good or bad energy. Okay. Energy is flowing or stagnant or balanced or imbalanced. Okay. So when you have, say, something like that and we're holding it and we're going in the opposite direction, then you would have a bigger imbalance. I there. see. That makes sense. Or if it's just there, or how we started with the third chakra, small, Mm -hmm. it's balanced, but it's weak. I see. So it's just how the energy is flowing into that state. So going back to these two, these two, these two, mostly, these two, very, very important. Chakra one and two. First and second. So if you want to really live a balanced life, (laughs) balance these two. These two are, is your, your, your foundation. Makes sense. So when your power is here, then it supports your emotions. Then it supports your, you know, everything else, your intuition, your feeling. So if we can help the world, let us balance our first and second chakras. One and two, guys. One One and two. two. Well, Jen, this was so cool. I've never had a chakra reading done before, but it was very enlightening. I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about some of the exercises that I can do to balance it from brain education. So for our audience who wants to connect with you, like whether you guys have some plans to come to Sedona, make sure you check this place out in person. That's the best way, Sedona Wellness Cafe in Uptown Sedona. But if you don't have the ability to travel to Sedona right now, as we mentioned at the beginning of this video, she does these online. Yeah, kind of like how we're doing it like this. She does them online so she can get your name and then do the chakra test too. So how can people connect with you for those? Um, The easiest way is Instagram. You can reach us on Sedona Wellness Cafe on our Instagram or Facebook. Okay. That's probably the easiest way. So social media seems like the best way to connect with them. So I will leave a link in the description below for their Instagram and their Facebook pages. So if you guys are interested also to check your chakras by brain education instructor and intuitive reader, Jen, then you can check it out there. Yeah. And we'll go more into it, you know, talking right. more in depth right. about each thing. 
So yeah. you'll have more time. Right, so this is just like a summary, but for your session, if you guys sign up, it will be more in depth and cater to exactly what you need because your energy is not going to be the same as mine. Yeah. All right, well, Jen, thank you so much. Thank you, Linda. Yeah, thanks for coming on, and I hope you guys found this interesting, and I hope you guys get a chakra reading by Jen because I learned a lot, and I think you'll learn a lot about yourself too. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.